Here's what's going to happen. I am going to take silhouettes of various cartoon characters and then make completely different drawings out of those silhouettes. Simple. So the first one is this picture of Stewie Griffin. There's our silhouette. So let's just start drawing something. I, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. One thing I want to make sure I do is not just have the same body parts in the same place. Therefore, this is not a head. That's, that's all I know, that's not a head. Oh, uh, what I am thinking is the head could become a hat or a an insane hairstyle, but then the torso is a head. And then this is a neck? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna start doing something. Oh yes, that's an eyeball. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stick to the outline pretty closely. It's gonna be a, a warped eyeball. We can we can live with that. I'm gonna draw just this is a collar I suppose. I'm gonna draw the top of the torso, mouth, eyes. <laughs> gonna be a somewhat muscular fella. Um, yep. <laughs> so far so good. I guess this can just be an afro. I'm gonna try to stick closely to the silhouette. I can do something like that. And then, and then we fill these uh, these lumps in, and it starts, hopefully, to look natural. Wow, what a what a guy! Little nose, little chin. I think some eyebrows could uh, could come in handy. I'll do some more spikes around this uh, collar so that this triangle here makes more sense. Probably makes the hair a little better. I'm gonna call it there. That's that's done. Um, wow. Stewie Griffin, this is now Dewey Piffin. Uh, aside from the melting eyeball, just, just, just a normal guy. Now, I'm only looking at the sketch, but, uh, a thought just occurred to me. And maybe this will show up in the render, maybe not. But, uh, the hair could actually be a brain, like, exploding out of his head. I don't know, you'll, you'll know if that happened or not. But I hope you like my tall haired or brain expulsioned man. Okay, next picture. Next up is the least obscure choice imaginable, SpongeBob SquarePants. But I have chosen a pretty uh, wacky pose. So this silhouette is gonna be fun. All right, I'm just gonna give you a running commentary. So what sprung to mind when I saw this silhouette was a sort of Aku Aku or Uka Uka type mask from Crash Bandicoot. The idea was to use the sleeves as eyebrows and the arms and legs as some kind of decoration. Right now, I'm just drawing more arms in the hopes that they don't end up looking like arms. They can, they can just be the most oddly shaped feathers of all time. A stern, toothy mouth way down the bottom. He's very forehead heavy, which, uh, hey, it's a look. Got to outline the whole thing, of course, and to make the pants blend in a little bit, I'm drawing some more lumps across the whole chin. Then I add a bunch of vaguely leg-shaped appendages <laughs> to make a leg beard. I'm gonna color all those limbs red and blue and yellow, which should hopefully bring it together. Time to finish off the eyes and add a nose. Now I'm adding a bit of 3D thickness on top, and I'm gonna draw some more weirdly shaped decorations up there to fit with the whole aesthetic. And I'm done. That's my boy right there, Sponge bo Spongeboy. He's kind of uh, changed materials in the most extreme way possible. Soft sponge, hardwood. I think this works. You, you just have to pretend you can't see hands and legs coming out of it. Uh, yep, very beautiful. I'm gonna move on to drawing number three. Next silhouette is Timmy Turner from uh, Fairly Odd Parents. So right away I saw his head as kind of a bunny or hedgehog or something. We've got a little nose floating on the left and a, a paw underneath that. And then Timmy's hand on the right can be seen as a tail. Essentially what's going to happen is a fusion between Crash Bandicoot and Sonic. Uh, I didn't intend on making two Crash Bandicoot inspired pieces in a row, but kind of ended up that way. And it didn't even hit me until I colored this one in. Yes, I am I'm commentating from the future. So the entire bottom half has to be something he was sitting on. I figured I could use Timmy's other arm as a leg and the rest of it was a tree stump. Uh, to make sense of this gap down here, I, I turned it into an egg sticking out of the ground and added a couple more. So now I'm just working on the details and after that it is good to go. My golly, what a serene image. I, I want to call this guy Chronic, uh, considering he's a match between Crash and Sonic. It's very funny. 
This works quite well somehow, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, the, the tail's a bit insane. Same with the shoes. But I think it's a pretty cohesive image. Don't know why there are Easter eggs on the ground. Uh, maybe maybe he's the Easter bunny? The Easter, Easter hedgehog? I don't know. When I look at it, I see the silhouette of Timmy Turner very obviously and clearly. But I do wonder if, looking at this for the first time, whether you would be able to tell instantly. So I posted all three pictures on Instagram to see how obvious these, uh, these silhouettes really are. Well, looks like no one noticed. Or they took the question rhetorically. Or they were scared they were wrong. And I know for a fact at least nine people saw this. I'm gonna count that as a win. And that's it. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my drawings. I hope you have a nice day. And please come back.